Presented by Caltech. I'm David Baltimore, the Millikan Professor of Biology and President Emeritus of Caltech. And I had the good fortune to win the Nobel Prize in 1975 in physiology or medicine. I think like a lot of kids, I discovered that I did science well, and it just felt natural. I worked in labs in the summers. I met all the people who were creating the revolution in molecular biology. There was almost nobody in that field, and there was tremendous opportunity. So I started working on animal viruses in 1961. We had actually only recently learned that DNA was the hereditary material, and here was a class of organisms that used RNA, not DNA. I began to look at other viruses, viruses that caused cancer. They caused a major change in the cell, and yet they were RNA viruses. And the answer was that they turned themselves into DNA. And I discovered how they did that, discovered the enzyme that allowed them to do that. The discovery of the reverse transcriptase said that viruses could insert genes in cells and modify the behavior of those cells. And that said that cancer could be a genetic problem. It actually cracked open the field of cancer. And that left me with a Nobel Prize at age 37. We suddenly realized that there was a new capability capability to cut and paste DNA, and that was a monumental new way of looking at biological experimentation and the capabilities of our profession. I was asked to be president of Caltech, and that was a distinctive honor, a distinctive responsibility. Caltech is one of the few academic institutions that is truly unique. There is no other institution like Caltech in the world. When I stepped down as president, I decided that I would utilize some of my laboratory capabilities towards actually affecting medicine in a direct way, and in particular, gene therapy to treat HIV, to prevent HIV infection, and to treat cancer. And so I've been through all of molecular biology, and it's been an incredible ride. 